Welcome back, Raccoon Players. This is Marisa, and we're going to go over how to create a room, how to add your co-owners, and set their permissions. Let's get started. First things first, you're going to want to open up your watch and then go to Create. So we start off in base rooms and these are all the template rooms. And now these rooms are rooms that you can start off with. They have a lot of stuff already in them. Um, it also has some tutorials to help you along the way. But if you really want a blank room, you go to the make a room. Once you make a room, you can find all your rooms in my rooms here. But we're gonna go to the base room and we're gonna start off with a clear room. Go ahead and start create a room. I can do that by clicking on it and then clicking on the blue one. Just typing in a name. All right. I'm gonna say yes. I can just go ahead and start editing my room by opening up my watch and then going to my backpack here and then pressing use on my maker pen and grabbing my maker pen and then pulling up the menu on the maker pen. And I'm just gonna delete some of the walls here by pressing the delete button here. Go ahead and delete those. And voila, I just edited my room. So now that I have edited my room, I have actually invited one of my friends here, and I'm gonna go ahead and add them as a co-owner to the room and change their permissions. I can do that by opening up my watch and then going to this room and then going to the settings tab on the upper right hand corner. And this is where you can find all of your permissions. I'm gonna go ahead and click on permissions. Now it's important to note that these are all the permissions that you can, uh, you can actually change. So you can change all your permissions for your creator, for your coners, this is where you can add your coners, and this is where you can change their permissions. And this is all the hosts, and you can ch add them, and you can also change the permissions there. Now you can change the permissions for everyone as well. So a couple things to note here is that when you add coners, you're responsible for their actions. So if they're drawing anything that is inappropriate or they're causing a lot of problems with other players in the game, your room may be taken down. So Keep that in mind when you're adding co-owners, all right? Another thing to note is that co-owners can actually get creator awards. Now this is split through the creator and all of the co-owners, just so you know, all right? So keep that in mind when you're adding co-owners to your rooms. Now hosts do not get creative rewards. Creative rewards are token boxes that you uh, are rewarded for engagement in your rooms. So you can get tokens for how much engagement that you have created in your room. Right. Another thing to note is that you can add your co-owners by pressing the symbol here. I'm going to go ahead and add my friend here. And since he's already in the room, he's going to pop up on the list over here. I'm going to go ahead and add him there. And then I'm going to go back. And then I can edit all his permissions by pressing on the cog symbol on the right hand side. All right. So these are all the permissions that I can set. I can give him can edit permissions. Yes, I want him to be able to edit permissions. Now, if I didn't want him to be able to edit permissions, he won't be able to like save the room or do anything that um, you know a, a coner originally would be able to do. Uh, can use maker pen. Yes, I want him to be able to use a maker pen. Now, if you didn't want any of your coners to use a maker pen, you can toggle that to no. Now, let's say you were having a really large event and then you have like five coners you just want to toggle it to no, you cannot use a maker pen in this uh, in, at this time. That's a really good way of setting up your event. So you kind of restrict a lot of restrictions there. All right. Can save inventions. Can Do you want your coners to save inventions within your room? Uh, you can say yes or you can say no to that. They can use their maker pen. They just can't save inventions. Can view gadgets. Yes, you want your coners to be able to view all the gadgets in the room so they can help you create the experience. Now, if you didn't want them to see the gadgets anymore, you can just toggle that to no. All right. Can use delete all button. I usually say no on this one. <laughs> but if you're really starting from scratch, yeah, I would probably leave that on yes. But later on in the process, I would I'll probably just toggle that to no. So those are all the permissions for creative, but we also have uh, social permissions. So you can have your co-owners be able to vote kick. Can they talk? We definitely want them to be able to talk. Can they invite people? We want them to be able to invite people. Disable mic auto mute. Now, I always like to toggle this. Yes, I want to disable this. And the reason why, let's just say I had a DJ that came in my room and they played very loud music. I'm gonna toggle that to yes. And I want them to be able to continue playing music. Now, if I toggle that to no, then nobody can play music. It will disable their mic. 
automatically and they will not be able to play very loud music. This is where you want to change that. Now we have miscellaneous permissions and these are just like uh, permissions that have to do with like your camera, your, if you, they can put, print photos, assign game roles, and all that sort of thing. So this is where you can find all these permissions here. Let's say you want to have your co-owners or your hosts be able to find your rooms. Well, you can do that by adding roles. I'm not going to talk about that in this video, but I'll link the tutorial to that down below in the description. So since I added a co-owner to my room, you notice that they have two lines underneath the crown. This means that they are a co-owner. Now if they have three lines under the crown, that means that they're the owner of the room. And if they don't have any lines under the crown, then that means that they're just the host. If you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe. And remember, be creative and give it your rack room best. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs>